Hi guys, my name is Sarvansh and thank you for watching my the other videos about the SSM tutorial. So today I'm going to show you the my dashboard that I have created for to check the client health and the client version detail. So let me start this video without wasting the time. So uh, here this dashboard I have opened in a report builder. Uh, if you have not installed a report builder in your SSM, so you can watch my the last video how to install the or report builder in SSCM that you can follow the video and you can install your report builder and configure it okay so this dashboard is uh, I have uploaded in a github site also so you can download it from there I can show you the uh, the github link so I am in the my github um, site and here is a SSCM client detail dashboard dot IDL file so this IDL file you can download it how you can download is it's a very easy now you can click here in the link and you can save it anywhere wherever you want like in a d drive i want to save it so this uh, is got saved and if you want to save it like the download zip also you can download it so uh, once you are downloading as a zip so when you open it you will be having the uh, dashboard uh, SSM client dashboard dot RDL file inside the zip folder okay so let me go back again there uh, so this dashboard how it will work um, let me show you the RDL once you download the RDL you will be getting in this like that format and once you install the report builder it will uh, show the icon as uh, this um, red color icon and a type of the report builder file so you can just double click on that file and you can open in the report builder okay so once you open this file uh, in this database you need to go here and uh, you need to delete this prod data now after deleting this you need to add your database okay so this is step I saw in the my last video also how you can do that let me go prod database so you can mention anything whatever you like database and just you can test the connection okay there is something wrong let me try with this Okay, it's not that you cannot put it the hyphen and the space so that's why underscore you can put it now it will be success okay so once you did this step and uh, if you are running it it will failed so uh, if you are getting like this error uh, let me tell how you can resolve it um, all system go to here after adding the database you just click like that okay and uh, you can just here and uh, click like this and then click ok then here click like this and the ok so now you will not be having any error there so if you go here uh, you got the dashboard is running so once you seen this dashboard is running then you can import in the SSEM okay so let me explain you first then I will show you how you can import in the SSCM so here is a collection ID is by default I have given for all system if you want to change it you can remove this file sorry you can remove this collection name and you can put it any other collection okay let me give you the example five uh, okay so five machine I have there okay what is this opening let me close this something is hanging okay so ps1 uh triple zero six five double zero double zero six five let us go here and uh, let me change this ps1 double zero double zero triple zero six five i think okay so now you can see in it I have only the two machine in this collection if you want to check the client health status on particular collection you can change the value here and you can use that 
okay now let me show you the uh, what are the features in built in this dashboard so here is a uh, client count so if the yes and no so two things will be there whether the uh, machine is having client or not so it will calculate in two way either client is installed there or client is not installed so out of two machines i have two machines as client is installed uh, let me put back the again sms double zero double zero one that id so i will be having some uh, colorful chart okay so uh, i have five machines in my sscm reported uh, out of five machines five machines is having the sscm client installed now uh, out of five machines if you seen this chart client active and inactive status so here is uh, three machines are in a inactive mode and two machines are in a active mode okay now here is like uh, client state state like a client in a what state it is a active pass or inactive pass or active uh, active field or inactive pass inactive field so all the list you will be getting here uh, as I have only the five machines in my lab environment, so um, I don't have the much details here. But when you import this IDL in your production server, you will be having the uh, very much colorful chart. But these colors will be two only. I, I hard coded the color value here uh, because here you will be getting the two value only. So client either if it is yes, then it will be green or uh, if it is no, then it will be or red color same way here is the uh, did the color coding if it is a client active status then uh, your chart will be green and if it is an inactive then it will be a red color so same thing I have marked it here okay now let's go to the next chart hardware inventory status so here you can check it whether uh, you can track through your data uh, sorry dashboard how uh, the client, uh, hardware inventory is working or not if client is not sending hardware inventory last seven days then it will show there as a inactive mode so you can check it out uh, how many clients are sending the properly hardware inventory to your sscm or how many machines are not sending so you can get it the uh, complete details here and the same way you can check it out the software inventory as well so once you get the report then based on that you can start the troubleshooting as well okay so now uh, here is a last abolition status field so if you seen it uh, fail and the pass so if you seen it uh, for my all five machines last abolition status was pass okay so uh, there is a none of machines where the last status uh, was failed and now the question is can comes like where i have the inactive machines are three here but my the um, evolution status was showing past y so the answer is when uh, it's showing the last evolution status so when it was trying to evaluate last time to your client then it was got success and it sent the status message to sscm and after that might be client move it to the inactive status and client is unable to send the evolution status but right now uh, your sscm is value is stored for the um past value is stored for the evolution status so that's why it's showing for all five is a green color okay so now here is a something important that's why i created a something big chart because so many clients will be coming here uh, with the pillar uh, as of now i have only the one client version in my lab infra so it's showing the uh, only the one and the count is five so uh, once you move it into the production you will be having the multiple client types here and the uh, the pillar will be here uh, like the how many clients are there for the 5.0 or uh, there is a, any other client uh, any other SSEM version so it can give you the complete detail then it will give you the chart as well 
so you can see it easily here uh, which client version you have here and how many count clients are there counts are there so based on that you can plan it your uh, client migration or how you want to proceed it now the one more chart is having here it's for the client not rebooted status so this is uh, why it is important uh, because when your client machine is not rebooting a long time your uh, client will not be healthy and uh, it will not be functioning well uh, so it will be causing some issues so reboot your machine on time at least uh, within a week uh, that is a microsoft recommendation that's why i create a table and uh, i tracked uh, the machine is based on the days so if your machine is not rebooted last seven days uh, then it will be counted as a uh, here so in my lab i have four machines which is not rebooted last seven days and then it is um, 14 days is four machine one month then uh, two months then three months and then the six month so after six months i have not tracked the data because that is a useless might be none of the machines will be there in infra more than a six month okay guys so these are the features and um, how you, uh, you can utilize this your dashboard i think it will be very helpful for you so now uh, let me go and show you how you can import in the SSCM console so once you go to the monitoring here is a uh, reporting and you have to open this link okay now click here and uh, here you can create your own folder uh, these are the default reports or the SSEM is providing uh, so we are not going to merge our report with these uh, we are going to create a, our new folder so here I can give the custom custom dashboard now I created a folder okay so whatever report I'm going to create or modify or the custom dashboard I will be going to keep it here and again it's up to you how you are going to manage your uh, reporting and now I'm going to import my file uh, that I have created a dashboard and now this ideal file is imported in my the SSCM report okay so let us run it and let us check whether it's working properly or not okay so now you can see in this report is ran and data is here so you can check the easily data uh, the dashboards tables and the other things okay now uh, in the SSEM uh, if you go in the SSEM then uh, my beats is not refreshed okay i think we need to close custom dashboards folder is here but nothing is here okay yeah it's came now so um you can see that report in the ssm also because uh, both are the same thing this is the front end and uh, you can say this is the back end to work on the or uh, reporting part okay even you can modify it from here also uh, you can go with the edit but the best thing is you open the reporting part on your um, Chrome or Internet Explorer from there you can edit the any report uh, you can use that uh, edit also from here if you want to edit anything like if you are facing any issue so you can just click it here and uh, you can open in a report builder so now this report will open in the report builder and uh, whatever uh, modification if you want you can add it and um, and save it here so directly it will go and save on the particular path okay so that's how you can edit any of the information if you want now uh, this report in a editable mode okay so uh, anything if, if you want to we modify here so you can just double click you can able to modify 
and if you want to modify here like I don't want details it should be detail uh, then or it should be the client so you can do that and you can save it here like that so now uh, this part will be changed and uh, if you close this and running it again this details will be saved there okay so uh, let me come here and uh, it's hanging so yeah okay just double click and uh, normally how you are opening that report so you can see in it here now the uh, uh, report details are removed so it was like clients and details so now it is client detail dashboard so if you want to edit anything you can add it inside the report based on your company requirement i create this dashboard as a standard base so guys this is uh, i put it a lot of effort on this so guys please subscribe my, my channel and um, just like it and other thing is if you want to check with the other collection you can remove this put it your collection and you can click on a run report and if you are having any issues or uh, to import the RDL or running the RDL you can just let me know I can help you guys okay guys so thank you for watching this video I will be putting this information in the my uh, report and the my group and LinkedIn and the Facebook so uh, thank you thank you all uh, thanks for watching this video